This is Keith Cunningham again. I've got some more strategies for you on crisis leadership. This is volume number four. The single most important ingredient to flexibility in turbulent business environments is dry powder or cash on the sidelines. In case you missed it in the news, thousands of the largest companies in the United States have drawn down 100% of their credit line at the bank. They've slashed payroll, furloughed millions of employees, and canceled billions of dollars of capital expenditures. They don't necessarily need the cash today, but since they don't have clarity or visibility about the depth or duration of this crisis, they're opting for safe versus sorry. As we all know, banks are happy to loan you an umbrella when the sun is shining, but want that umbrella back at the first hint of rain. It's better for you to have the dry powder than the bank. So here's your thinking time question. How much is my actual dry powder, and is there anything I need to do or can do to augment it? In 2001, a commercial airplane flew into a building and the world changed forever. Regardless of your opinion of him today, back in the day, Rudy Giuliani was considered a national hero. As the mayor of New York on 9-11, he orchestrated the city's response and is credited for preventing far more deaths. A couple of years after this tragedy, Giuliani was asked how New York City was able to mobilize and respond to this crisis so quickly and effectively. His response is a lesson for us today. Giuliani said New York City had a war room at City Hall. This room contained more than 50 different plans for responding to different potential crises. There was a plan for a dirty nuke in New York Harbor and another plan in the event the water system was poisoned. There was a plan for a bomb in the subway system and a plan for a 100-story office building catching on fire. When 9-11 happened, the leadership of New York City headed straight for the war room and began pulling different response techniques from different plans. In less than 30 minutes, they knew what to do and how to do it. Not because they had a plan for an airplane hitting an office building, but because they already had so many plans developed. So here's the message. You will need multiple plans on the shelf as this crisis winds its way through our economic system. You need to develop robust sensitivity analysis with varying assumptions for revenue, expenses, cash collections, cash burn, and timelines. Waterfall or cascade your expense structure assuming various cash collections and revenue events. No one has the ability to predict or exactly know what's gonna happen next. But thinking about and developing various plans in the event of varying outcomes will guide and accelerate your response time and reduce the risk of getting caught flat-footed. So here's your thinking time question. If I knew this crisis was going to last for three more months, what are the decisions I would make and what actions would I take? When would I take them? What if it was six months instead of three? When the crisis is over, What is your revenue for the following quarter? What if it's less than 50% of your pre-crisis revenue? In asking this question, I'm not suggesting that that timing is accurate, but rather challenging your assumptions and thinking to cause you to create some additional plans. Anyone who has ever flown American Airlines has experienced some version of the following announcement prior to departure. 
your flight has been delayed by 20 minutes. 30 minutes later, another announcement is made that informs you that it'll be an additional 45 minutes before departure. An hour later, they announce that your airplane that was, that was scheduled to fly you to your destination has not even left the tarmac in the city of origination. And therefore, the airline can't predict the estimated departure. But don't leave the boarding area in case there's another announcement. So here's your thinking time question. What does my plan need to look like if the scheduled end of the crisis begins drifting from my original plan? Now, go think. You'll thank me later. For more business and CEO strategies, go to my website, keystothevault.com.